Dusty Vision TV, thanks for joining the program. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, I welcome you. The title of today's episode is, If It Came Out of Compton, It Came Through Me. Most people say that if it wasn't for him, there would be no Easy e Most people say if it wasn't for him, there would be no Dr. Dre. And the list goes on and on and on. Ladies and gentlemen, on the line, my friend, the godfather of West Coast hip hop, Alonzo Williams. What up, man? What's up with you, Doc? How you doing today? I'm doing good, doing good. Thanks for joining the program, man. And it's a trip because um, I just got an alert on my phone that we posted the first episode of Not Without Alonzo two years ago today. Wow. Yeah, man. Isn't that a trip, dude? You said two years ago? Two years ago, yeah. Just popped up on my Facebook memories, man. Wow, 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 Yeah, wow. yeah. Um, speaking of okay. Not Without Alonzo, tell everybody, uh, before we get started, where they can find you on YouTube. Find me on YouTube at Not Without Alonzo. Uh, I'm sorry, NWA Stories with Alonzo, Alonzo on YouTube, uh, Instagram, uh, hashtag Real Alonzo NWA. Same thing for Facebook and Twitter. There it is, my man. There it is. Well, let's jump right into it, man. I want to kind of you, you said something to me uh, offline. You, you said an interesting uh, phrase, and I want to run with that tonight. But the phrase was, if it came out of Compton, it came through me. I'm always yes, I, I listen to podcasts religiously, hip hop specifically related, and I'm a big fan of West Coast hip hop. And growing up, uh, you know, all of the people I, I, I hear do podcasts now and, and do interviews your name always comes up. Ladies and gentlemen, yep. if you don't know the name Lonzo Williams, you definitely know the work that he's done behind the scenes and you know who he's responsible for, you know, pretty much bringing into the game. And if you saw straight out of Compton, he was, I guess that the, he was the club promoter, the, the hype club promoter who didn't want Dre playing all that bullshit, uh, hip hop in his club with the, uh, with the Jerry curl, right? That's me. <laughs> Let me ask you, how, how did uh, how did you feel or how um, did, did he hit Alonzo Williams, uh, like right the nail on the head with, with the whole how you were back then? You know, um, he played me great. It just the, the part they gave him to play uh, was not me at all. I mean, I'm the first person to bring Run DMC to L.A., first person to bring Curtis Blow to L.A., uh, Dr. Jack with Mr. Hyde. I mean, I was doing a lot of stuff with hip hop before anybody else was, so I had a I had a major love for for, for hip hop overall. And shortly after that, I formed my group, World Class Wrecking Crew. Yeah. It's, uh, go ahead. What they said, I, what they said, I did in Atlanta County never happened in real life. Okay, it never happened. I never hated on uh, gangster rap because by the time gangster rap was uh, was up and running, I was already out of the club business. I was doing something else. I mean, I was out of the doodle, I put it that way. I was doing something else. So, I mean, they put it together. I mean, it, it called it a creative license where right. they can, you know, come in and take a story and patch it together to make it more interesting. I ain't mad at them. I'm, I'm glad to be a, a part of a, doc, a docu, I mean, a docu, what do you call it? A doc, not docu series, but a. Uh, Autobio, Autobio, uh, uh, one of those damn things. Uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> uh, a, 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 a biopic. There you go. A biopic. That it has as much success as it has, so I'm I'm in, I'm ingrained ingrained in hip hop history forever. Maybe yeah. the wrong story, but I take that. I make it work. Yeah, yeah. Now, aside from your part being a little off, how accurate was the movie Straight Outta Compton? The movie wasn't bad, man. It wasn't bad at all. I mean, it was very it was very cool. Again, like I said, they uh they have they call it creative license. They used it to the maximum. You yeah. know, stressed out some stuff. Had folks being heroes. I mean, if Dre had had a cape, he could have flew shit. But you know, he didn't. He, he, he talking shit to the police and fighting folks and jumping on blood. And hey, uh, hey man, uh-huh. you know, sometimes people do shit in their mind they probably wouldn't do in real life. But I ain't gonna go there. <laughs> and it's kind of funny how I, I think it was the the final product was uh, if him and Ice Cube didn't approve of it, then it just it wasn't happening, right? Okay. All right. It was uh, it was uh, 
it was, yeah, it, 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 it was a it was a project, man. Mm-hmm. I was just in the car. That's all. <laughs> yeah, it is a trip though. For anyone who doesn't know, I mean, the fact that he had maybe two minutes tops in this movie doesn't even accurately portray what this dude did for West Coast hip hop. I mean, you were you were chopping through the weeds trying to figure stuff out. Take yourself back, guys, to 1980, 81, 82. You know, before hip hop was was a big big deal. I mean, this guy was discovering new things. I mean, pioneering new shit. How hard was it to even get a record out? Man, you know, um, nobody paid us no attention. Nobody paid hip hop no attention. You got to understand, uh, when I first got it, wanted to get into the music business about 80, 81, disco had just died. Disco was on life support. Okay. It had died, but you still had a few folks that was trying to, you know, breathe life into it. And they figured hip hop, going to be like disco. It was going to die a quick death and don't even worry about it. You know, funk is here to stay. R&B is here to stay. Blues is here to stay. Disco. I mean, hip hop is just something passed through. Thank yeah. you. And um, they uh, they didn't, uh, you know, nobody took it serious. Um, and they're not singing. They're just spitting into the, talk, hollering to the microphone. You know, nobody thought it was going to work. You know, so nobody paid no attention until all of a sudden we started making money. Then everybody wanted to be, oh, yeah, I knew it was going to be great. I, I figured it was going to be <laughs> yeah. good. Same old bullshit. <laughs> that is so bullshit. It, it, was, it was just really interesting, man. I mean, um, and I went through it first. I mean, I knocked on every door in Hollywood, uh, Motown, uh, CBS, Sony. You know, after we did our own album, then they gave us a record deal. But nobody was checking for us in the beginning. Everybody was independent. And it worked out great for L.A. rappers because uh, we all became, we all were businessmen. Uh, uh, most of us were businessmen in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Either we worked in management at a job or we owned other smaller businesses. And it allowed us to, you know, uh, just expand our wings and do something different, which was make records. Mm-hmm. Whereas New York cats, they uh, they all got signed to, label, to record deals out the gate. Most of them cats don't own their masters like we do. You know, a lot of those guys got taken advantage of in the early days. They made more money than we did, but we had we have more control. Mm-hmm. And you know, sometimes control can uh, actually be a better thing. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I, I know you're. I, I always hope that when I turn on the TV and a commercial comes on, I hear one of your songs in the background. And Man, I'm, I'm so <laughs> I'm so waiting for that dude. I'm so waiting for that. I mean. I, one of my partners is Adrian Greg, where he manages Digital Underground. And every time I hear Humpy Hump or one of them commercials for that uh, the phone company, I'm like, oh man, or oh, Hump Day, Humpty Hump. You know, I'm oh my God. And I'm hearing uh, JJ Fad just did uh, the uh, Hedgehog, I was it Hedgehog Sonic? They was in that movie. So at some point in time, somebody got to give me some love. I was hoping that I went viral on the fly with uh, Mike Pence a couple of weeks ago. With how? You know? <laughs> oh, with the fly? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I but, you know, that. <laughs> yeah, but Facebook, oh, Facebook started start tripping on music real hard. So when nobody even put, do, do the, we couldn't even do a meme to make it work. If uh, we did the meme, they wouldn't play the music. Yeah. So, you know, it just took the whole fun out of it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah, that, that, that would have been it right there, my man. But yeah, listen to what yes, you still saying, man. The ownership part. Ladies and gentlemen, don't be so quick to sell yourself. Don't be so quick to sell your art. The the record label can't do shit without your voice. So don't don't ever give them uh, you know 100% of anything. I mean, at the end of the day, you know Alonzo owns his music and and it, 25, 30, 35 years later if a uh, a movie wants to play 30 seconds of it, guess who they're going to pay? They're going to pay Alonzo. Okay. She said she want to see the city bus She don't want to ride the city bus Because she's new to the town I advise, look for truth The ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud Dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me saw the other day with the baby ain't life crazy i think about it once in a while when it's cloudy outside and the sun goes
Man, of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah Most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blame instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to baby, that's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about baby, just sit your ass Damn. You wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rum in the jug Give me a hug, wrong nigga baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning Won't remember shit, I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Ready, ready, set, go. go Put your seatbelt on, up in the way we bout to go The road is gon' get windy, promise not to lose control The final destination's bound to captivate your soul And so, many MCs inspired to be One of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC Then the law came life, now the dreams deferred All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur My ponders, contemplating the worst Put all your energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched Paying dues upon dues Keep on telling yourself I'm making others believe in you too And it's true You can make it if you try There's levels to everything Better believe it Cause you can deny it And never achieve it It won't come easy Just put in the work And know your worth Continue to rise Cause all we do is capitalize None of these drugs Do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point Of hurting people That you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah It's the crazy part, man. It's the crazy part. I talk about, but not to everybody. Um, my house where I live at reason why I have the house that I have right now with a recording studio and a big backyard and everything is because I bought it from a guy named Johnny Otis. Johnny Otis was the godfather of rhythm and blues back in the 60s, 50s and 60s. And his claim to fame was uh, the movie Back to the Future. Mm. They gave him a shitload of money for Back to the Future to, to uh, be in the soundtrack and uh, in the movie and, and on the album, of course. And he made enough money. He just pulled up stakes one day and said, I'm out of here. Bought up a mansion in in, uh, in uh, Altadena and left the house that I live in abandoned completely. So one day, he's making my house. It may be abandoned because I'm going to get a shitload of money from someplace. <laughs> <laughs> and, I hope to follow in his footsteps. And this house that you're living in right now, for everybody who doesn't know, is tell us about the history of, of what was actually recorded in that house. Well, I mean, if you want to go back uh, – before I bought it, I mean, a lot of stuff with Edda James and people like that. But then later on, when I got it, uh, when you see when you see the movie straight out of Compton, uh, and Easy E is back there doing his demo for the first time, that was that was done in my house. Uh, all the stuff from CMW initially was done in my house. Um, in fact, I was just talking. Ta unknown that just called me right now. We, we're talking about some issues right now on a computer problem I got. But the whole CMW album, the first one, was recorded in my house. In fact, I gave him my main room and built a sub room behind the studio in in, in, a, in a corner and rented my room out to him so he can do the CMW album. We did the whole Compton's Most Wanted album back there. So, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Compton's uh, Most Wanted and the Compton, Compton, first Compton compilation mm -hmm. and the second Compton compilation. Mm -hmm. So the house has a lot of history. And uh, and I say at one point in time it was it was if you came through there it was like watching house party. If any of these kids ever watch the house party movie and see all the stars in the house party movie that's blown up, mm. now mm. that's how my house was that's back crazy, in the day. I mean, man. you gotta 
You got a young Easy E, uh, a broke Dre, a broke Yella. Uh, uh, you got Warren G, eight nine years old. You got DJ Pooh. You got uh, Def Jeff, Body and Soul, D Barnes. Wow. I mean, you got you know just every t- Tone Dope, Toddy T. Everybody was at the house. I mean, at, every, at any given time, they just come through. Steve Yano from Swap Meet, he'd be over there picking up records for me. I got studio session going in the back. Um, Rose and Dean maybe cooking some tacos or something. I mean, that was just my house was a mix of Friday compared and Friday. And house party mixed together. Damn, dog, you okay. just—that's so crazy. I just pictured that, and the crazy part is, you, you only have those images in your head because we didn't have cameras all in our face. Didn't, didn't, we, you know, we have a few pictures, not a whole lot, dude. Yeah. Not a whole lot. I was watching the uh, banging on wax uh, uh, series that you did recently, which is so good, man. I was so addicted to that series. Thank you. Um, I make, thank make you. sure everybody check it out on um, NWA Stories with Alonzo. Um, just type in banging on wax and you'll you'll find it. But um, you, were, you you talked about the watch stacks and the, tell me about the story specifically and kind of what led up to it, the events that led up to it uh, where with Jesse Jackson and the Crips. Well, you know, uh, it was funny, man. That was my first concert. I was 16 years old. It cost a dollar to get in. It was the 70s, man. And everybody had a natural and leather coat. Leather coat was the shit back then. And um, the, the whatever football team, I always got it confused with the Rams or the Raiders. They had a deal with the uh, Coliseum because the concert was on a Saturday. They didn't want to mess the field up. But they said, you could have the concert, but can't nobody dance on the field because you messed the field up for tomorrow's game. And every time the music would start, everybody would run out the stands and run down to the to the field and start dancing. And they stopped the concert, make everybody go back in the uh, stands again. And it kept on happening. It kept on happening. As soon as the music played, they went back to, to the to the, uh, to the to the field. And Jesse Jackson got on the stage, got on the microphone, and like, "We are, you are somebody. Stop acting like a fool." Blah 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 blah. <laughs> folks was pop pop. Folks was locking. I mean, locking it just hit, man. Folks was, you know, Soul Train was the number one TV show in L.A. And, you know, people wanted, you know, I didn't want to sit down. We weren't ready for no sit-down concert yet. And um, at some point in time, he uh, told, you know, the Crips was out there. He told the Crips to form a human chain around the field, the uh, track field, and um, keep everybody out of, the, out of the, uh, off the off the track. And they did that. And of course, guys who weren't Crips joined hands, trying you know have access. And man, school people came down; they was beating the shit out of people. How you doing, babe? The cops went behind. The cops threw their hands up and walked behind <laughs> the stage, and just it's like gave up. Like you know, what y'all y'all want to do this? Y'all got it. And it was crazy as hell. And it was like, what are you doing? And you know, Jesse. At some point, they realized they messed up, so they uh, they had to uh, you know. Uh, Crips had to had to come off that right there and do something else completely. Damn, what a scene that uh, must have been. <laughs> all right, so it was really interesting. It is. Uh, it was. It was almost frightening to see. Him. I'm like, what are you doing? Do you obviously you don't. Know, obviously, you don't. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And the police are like, no, we ain't. We ain't going to do nothing. The whole um, security force, police, LAPD. Went and sat down behind the stage, up in the sta- up in the stands, and watched the Crips uh, beat the shit out of everybody in the stands that came on the field. God damn! <laughs> rest of that day, they the rest of that day, they were taking people's leather jackets like it was nobody's business. In fact, it was so crazy, man. I was in the bathroom. I didn't have a leather jacket, but I was in the bathroom. And when they walked in the bathroom, brothers were in mid piss. <laughs> they was mid in mid piss. <laughs> Just pull off their jacket and gave them to them, <laughs> and wash their hands and walked on out. You either, either give up the jacket or get your get beat out of it. You know, get, get your ass mm. beat in it, okay? You know, brother, never stop pissing. Hey man, he gonna, he gonna, yeah. you know, and it was it was it was sad, but it was funny. Yeah, but it, it is what it is, man. It's a part of the history. Oh, a colony is coming, but it's from Venus, and if you're still alive, I think you'll see. How we differ. And I agree with you about what they call music. Why don't you play some? I'm at a crossroads every damn day, looking back in my past when I sleep. But living on the edge, now I do it enough. Iniquity down to my feet. 
What do I do when I need a little food and I gotta get the money for the rent? Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord, come on, son, he can give me some money, repent. What? What? Thank you. I really love you, baby, so I spank you. Life is a west straight, fucking you up. Living in a prison, I'ma shank you. So what's love got to do with it? When it with my heart, I'ma sleep, I'ma fall. But she said she loved me, she wanted to hug me, and but she starts get told. And I spy with my little mind's eye, dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight, baby. Ignore the rain, and everything gon' be okay. And while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline, and I'll be biding my time till I can ride the wave. Then everything gon' be okay, yeah What are the chances? You're picking a flight, we're leaving tonight Pack up your bags, we're leaving this place and this baggage Cause what can we do? While Rome is collapsing But not in a day, we'll be okay Let's hit the Amalfia Jackson to pull up the map then Cause I'm through keeping up with these Joneses Don't care what they're posting You know, you only see what they show you Let's fall off the grid then Cause we don't owe nothing to no one Darling, just listen and it'll be Just like starting over and I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on What you can see in daylight, baby Ignore the rain And everything gonna be okay while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay I don't even know why I'm here Wanna be on a beach somewhere Feet kicked up in my chair Smoke all up in the air Clouds are looking lovely My girl is by my side My gun is by my side But why do cameras always make me look so ugly? And the smile fades when they disappear Till it's only you wishing someone cared Hilling out the window, is anybody there? Does anybody care? Was the rope in the fucking chair? And since God wanna play these fucking games I'ma take it there Bang, bang And I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on What you can see in daylight, baby Ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay let me slide on in like I hit a home run Bottle of the night, I get the job done Celebrating life, I buy bottles like I wanna Pour some out for the homies, I'm on ya Reminisce on your memory, every time I blaze a tree Voices in my head keep on urging me Tell them about the story, hate they came from the hood All about the paper, many years misunderstood Thinking I could one day make it on the big stage Amazed at what I say, metaphorical wordplay Fucking up your frequency Got you moving and grooving to a kind of time of state Nah, I'm gonna stay high, chilling, embracing the vibe Taking you on a ride, and mission never denied As long as you recognize the eyes in the sky I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay Tell me the story of the ROTC incident where your boy got into it with, I believe it was Pudding and his boys, and then they end up coming to the school. Yeah, well, they, we, we all went to the at the same time, man. Me, Pudding and all, you know, I think he might have been a year older than me or something like that. And uh, they were on campus. I, was, I don't know if he went to class now, but he was on campus. And I was at ROTC. And me and my me and my my, my battalion. Well, I was the battalion chief. I had I was I was the man. Me and my uh, executive officers. We just walked down the senior square, just minding our own business. And they one of the cats just jumped up and where you pop pop our motherfuckers going? And my uh, my lieutenant, tall brother, about six four, looked like Blake Griffin, red hair, freckles, the whole nine yards. He stuttered a little bit. And he oh, said, shit. "Why why we?" Why, why, why we gotta be some Popeye motherfucker? <laughs> you cold for, for entertaining, and, by the way. You cold for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my boy, I love me death. And homeboy stole on him. That was all. They got to fight. 
and the fight didn't last for a hot second. Security guards broke it up, and we didn't think much of it. Okay, a couple of days later, me and my boy was walking through the park between his house and the school, and there the same guys were sitting on the bench. It was just like in a movie, man. Fuck, we can't. There's too many of them. These guys is these guys is killers. They, they, they don't think about nothing about stabbing somebody or shooting somebody. And just so it happened, one of the guys that was there was my neighbor from across the street who actually ran most of these guys, okay? His grandmother and my mom went shopping on a regular basis. He could not let me get jumped on and watch it. He knew that, okay? So he told my guy and his guys, go head up. Leave them alone. You can't jump them. Just, yo, y'all got to go head up. Well, what they didn't know is my boy Andre was a, uh, he was training with golden gloves. Oh, he wasn't a champion in that, but he could fight. You know, he didn't look like it, but I guess if you were a light skinned, late Griffin cat in concert, you got to learn how to fight because you've been fighting for a long, and stuttering, <laughs> you've been fighting for a long time. They got to fighting, and my boy did much better than he should have against a so called gangster. A boy should have took, if he took a dive, it would have been all right. But he didn't take no dive. He put hands on him. I ain't going to say he beat him up. I never tell that lie where he beat him up. But he got too many good shots in for a Popeye motherfucker. Okay? <laughs> and next day we go to school. And they, they, we left. They, the, my boy stopped the fight. They clowned it. Oh, he you know, he did this. He did that. I forgot the word. Or I, uh, I forgot the word uh, they called it uh, back in the day. Um uh, uh, damn, I, I keep it coming with it. Well, anyway, he, he did this, he did that. Okay. And next day, uh, one of the girls who was in my, my homeroom class said, I don't know what happened. And she, she told us the whole, told me the whole situation. I don't know what happened to Enterprise Park yesterday. But whatever y'all did, Piru, the Piru boys, said he killing everything in the ROTC uniform. And she lived on Piru, so she knew. Damn. I tell you what, baby, I got you. I will see you. Never, because I'm out of here. <laughs> Turn in my uniform. <laughs> I, hit, I turned in my shit. I hit the fence and I never went back to school again. And sure enough, they beat niggas' ass all day in, uh, in, at Centennial. Damn. And it, was, it was one of them situations for me, man. It was so stupid while we was fighting. I had to make a decision, man. Because one thing, one thing about so-called gangsters, they don't take L's, okay? Mm -hmm. If you beat them, they come back. And we wouldn't fight over nothing, man. It wasn't worth me killing nobody or getting killed over. So I just left it alone, man. You know, and I saw all them guys later in life in, at the grocery store. We all shopped at the same store. And when you saw them by themselves, they weren't the same tough dude. Mm -hmm. they, weren't, they were not the same tough dude, man. In fact, they stopped. Look, oh, shit. He got me this time. No, I ain't got you. Go on about your business, man. They miss me. I ain't tripping. Okay? But remember, I could have got you. Mm -hmm. And again, most of these guys are dead. I mean, my boys, we still do our thing, man. So, yeah. you know, it, I don't, it all, like I tell anybody in the youngsters, it all depends on what's important to you, man. All them, if, if you like breathing and freedom, you might want to rethink your position on some of this bullshit. Mm. I've always enjoyed my freedom, and i got a good thing. I love breathing. So, oh, you know, you know I what? choose to make decisions that most people don't. That's the perfect way to end it because that's what my channel is all about, Dusty Vision TV. People ask me all the time why I started this, why I, you know, interview, you know, um, not only um, hip hop artists, but uh, you know, I, I the true crime gang genre, and and mainly OGs and people who've been through it and spent 15, 20 years in prison and been shot seven, eight times and things like that. The reason why I interview these people is for these youngsters who think is is this the life I, you know, I, I really want to live. You know what I'm saying and, and for Alonzo to say he loves breathing and he loves his freedom, I don't think we could invent the show any better than that. Um, one more time, Alonzo, where can everybody find you, my man? NWA Stories with Alonzo on YouTube, Real Alonzo NWA. Also, man, uh, I got the T-shirts for Hood Peace. I got the yard sign. Uh, I'm, uh, Hood Peace is being launched immediately, being launched as we speak. I'm doing a press release right now. Uh, we're starting in Compton. Um, I, 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 we have a fundraiser. We got a yard sign, a T-shirt for forty bucks. Uh, anybody that's interested in supporting the Hood Peace, do it for the kids. Yes. Because Hood Life, Hood Peace, because Hood Lives Matter. 
Yes, okay? I've and been I've been promoting my- Hood Peace big time on my show as well. Um, everybody knows that's actually the 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 um, thumbnail for my YouTube channel. Um, Hood okay. Peace is something that we're you know Alonzo is really trying to push, and I'm going to do whatever I can. I'm going to try to get OGs involved and, and try to see if if we can do our part, you know what I'm saying? Because Thank we're killing you, we're, we're killing each other out there. Not we as in, you know, gangsters, but us as black people and Latinos, we're killing each other out there like animals. And and before we know it, we're going to turn around and there's not going to be any more left of us. Real talk. Man, look, the, 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 the candle of black lives are burning on both ends, but yes. one end is burning faster than the other. Speak on Okay? It. It's burning at both ends, but one end is burning faster than the other. Mm. Okay? You, you, you know how many cops, we know there was a hundred some people that was killed at LAPD mm-hmm. last year. How many thousands of brothers got killed by brothers last year? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's mm-hmm. the elephant in the room nobody wants to talk about. Yeah. And, you know, people want to act like it's a part of the culture. What culture is this that kills their own, man? Mm-hmm. What culture is this that kills their own? Especially by the bottom. We're going to need all those, we might need all the soldiers we can get. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're going to need every every able bodied man if, this, if, if, uh, if these. White supremacists have it their way. Okay, yep. we gonna need everybody, every able-bodied man, and you know, stand up like and I, stand down, Black hey America. Man, Real come talk, come on, man. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not hoping for none of that. I hope everything goes smooth. Yeah, but yeah, same. You know, how how can I fight one enemy? And I gotta look on my shoulder. The guy behind, next mm. guy next to me, gonna shoot me too. Come on, man. Mm. Come on. And when you talk to brothers that's been in jail, they tell you all the time, oh man. In jail, ain't no ain't none of that shit right there. Everybody represents us, but you know, well, we know all we got is each other. At the end well, of the day, it, we're black. All we got, that's all we got out here. Mm-hmm. Mm. And Latinos and the, and the black get together against the white boys in prison. Okay, mm-hmm. everybody got their everybody got their they section. I don't know. I put it over here. I don't know. I, I know what I heard. I don't know if about it to speak on it like I like I like to. But I, and I'm not trying to learn either. But mm-hmm. I know I I do enough talking to brothers. One of my one of my other jobs or my other um, community efforts, I work with a lot of brothers that are coming home from prison, and nobody they always tell me two things: in jail, they don't trip on that crippling blood stuff. The brothers don't, mm-hmm. okay. And then also, and I ask them, would you do it again? Hundred ninety nine point nine percent says. Hell no. That's it. It I, was not worth it. I ask every OG that I interview at the end of my show. I say, if you could talk to a, a 10-year-old you who was just thinking about getting that gang life, what would you tell them? And most of the time, they want, literally 100%. Not one has – I've done 50 interviews with OGs, and not one has ever said, yeah, keep doing that shit, nigga, do that shit. Nope. Every last one has said, right. don't do it. Mm, that's deep, deep shit, Alonzo. It's always a pleasure, homeboy. I'm going to post this on my channel as well as yours uh, if you're cool with that. And, you got it, Doug. Um, yeah, it. let's make sure me and you get together for another uh, uh, oh, video yeah. so we can, we we can post on your show. We got to talk about Cube. Beautiful, man. Let's do it. I'll talk to you All soon. Right, All right, peace, man. You got it. Peace. Later. Always a good time talking with my boy, Alonzo. Dusty Vision TV, man. A little something, something for you out there. Thank you guys so much for telling friends about the show. Dusty Vision TV on Facebook, Dusty Vision TV on Instagram, Dusty Vision TV on YouTube. It is always a pleasure chatting with you guys, smoking with you guys, drinking with you guys. Be safe out there. It's crazy, and it's about to get crazier. I'll talk to you soon. Peace. I know a girl that pops a perk before she brushes her teeth I know a dude that snorts coke at least twice a week I have a friend who's married but he still be fucking bitches And his excuse is that his wife is always fucking bitches I remember, hold up, sorry I forgot to mention I know a girl that used to cut herself to get attention To get attention I would always used to get detention Getting suspended was my only life's mission my little cousin went to jail, now he's facing life Promised my aunt I'll look after him, but I lied Working 60 hours a week, trying to stack cheese Ignoring texts from my family members every week 
I'm a deadbeat cousin missing birthdays Promised my dad that I'd call him on Thursday But it's Saturday and I haven't hit him yet I know one day that is something that I will Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Yo, yo Yo. I write rhymes for the masses, introductory classes, bringing you up to speed, can't see, go get your glasses, we gon' mix it with the little Honey Jack, got the cherries at the bottom, you know I be eating that, so much going on in the world today, I think we need to slow down, chill, meditate, let me fly in the sky like birds, I'm using my imagination to script it with the words, so let's blow clouds, I'm sending you much love, I'm held down by gravity, my spirit is up above, hop in the sky, take a ride with me, 485 horsepower, Hit me. Now we gone in the wind, dipping off in the sunset Moving at the speed of light, car looking like a jet I bet it was another who wanted to shine But I'm two steps beyond, baby, this my time Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Now it's just them chemtrails trying to take us out, man Population control, so the devil your soul For the money and the power, yeah, the ultimate goal Slow Let that sink in, smoking on some clone guy I feel like I'm sinking in a pool full of liquor Incoherent, sober up, then I do it again Check me out Determination of a tortoise with the speed of a hare I'm blowing past some seas like I blow my smoke in the air I play the skin to win this if I was on double dare And I'm always welcome back like my name was Mr. Carter Burn rubber like I burn my leaf Hard for me to slow down when my kids gotta eat I'm in the belly of the beast maneuver like Jet Li Translation man I'm quick on my feet Quick to defeat That's my suspicio or get hit with this heat What? What did he say? Can you repeat? That's my suspicio or get hit with this heat Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion